The National Elections Commission spoke about the increase in the number of presidential candidates at a media briefing held today. According to my knowledge, one candidate had placed bonds this morning as well. So the number of candidates currently stands at 22. We think that this number will increase to over 25. The situation will exhaust the officers in charge of the polling station, the Gramaseva officers who prepare the polling stations and the counting officers. One of these candidates can send two polling agents to the polling station. If the number of candidates are 25, then that will mean 50 representatives. Five representatives per candidate at the counting stations, that is 125. We must assign at least 75 for the counting if there are 125 representatives. We will also have to find a hall that can accommodate 200 people. The largest counting centres in Colombo are at Royal College and DS Nanayaka College. It is about 30 to 25 classes. We cannot ask them to limit the number of representatives. It is their democratic right as per the provisions of the Act. And all 25 candidates are contesting with the hope of winning the election. <laughs> The chairman of the election commission also spoke about the violation of election laws and the laws on election propaganda. We have asked everyone to seek our approval regarding appointments. Also, we have asked them to consult us on all of the state events that are being held. The main point that we have highlighted is that at events that are of a political nature, no election propaganda activities can be done. Reduce the participation of politicians as much as possible. At an event where a certain politician must attend, it must be the tradition in the country to not only invite a politician from one party, but to invite others representing other parties as well. We told them directly that if one politician is being garlanded, the other politicians must be garlanded as well. If in any way during one of these events, if something political takes place, we will not be punishing the politicians. The state sector officials will be held responsible for violating our orders. There is an issue on political cutouts and posters. We requested the candidates of all parties that handed in nominations to willingly remove their cutouts, banners and posters. If these are not removed from the day that the nominations are accepted, it is a punishable offence. The law will be strictly enforced against the people who put up these banners after the day for nominations. Journalists questioned the chairman on the estimated expenses for the presidential election. We will definitely be needing additional funds. We thought it would be about 4 billion rupees or even 4.5 billion rupees. But it could increase from 4 billion to 5 billion rupees.